There's no one in the Radio Lancashire newsroom at all. Hello, I'm Graham Liver. I present the BBC Radio Lancashire Breakfast Show. It's 4.30 in the morning and I'm just about to get my car to drive to Blackburn to do the breakfast show. And I'm whispering because I don't want to wake up my other office in the house. And here we are. Usually at this time of the day, there aren't that many people in any way, because it's early. When all this kicked off, there has, there's hardly anyone in this building all day. There's no one in the Radio Lancashire newsroom at all. Like I say, it's usually like this now during the weekday, but this is like this all day today. So Leanne's downstairs preparing. I'll prepare up here. More alcoholic gel, there we are. There's Leanne. And there's Shelley. You alright? Morning. Me and you have always had that distance between us, haven't we? Yes. Yeah. Wipes, which we have tons of. And the hand gel, which we have tons of. And what we've all been given, we've all been given personal microphone shields. So we're in the studio, we're ready to go. If you hear the theme, it means that uh, we're about to start, so. Good morning, I'm Graham Liver. Welcome to breakfast at BBC Radio Lancashire. Sorry. So when, when Leanne comes into the studio, we are, uh, we are at a safe distance, but usually like a, some kind of uh, rabid animal, she is uh, behind glass usually, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. Back home now. Uh, there's so many examples of how our listeners have been making a difference, how they've been doing some brilliant things. The one that I remember is a fella called Jihad, a Syrian refugee, four years ago, came to the UK with his family, didn't have a clue where he was going, ended up in Preston. And through government support, he set up his own shop. He's a very skilled tailor. Obviously, he's had to close due to the lockdown and uh, restrictions, but opened to make scrubs for the NHS and care homes and whoever wants them. And it was just brilliant to tell his story about he's one of us, he's part of our family, helping us all out through a very difficult time. Work from here for the rest of the day. I do the odd pre-recorded interview. I've done the odd show from here, but it's best for me to go into the studio to do the show because if I do it from here, someone has to be back at base pressing all the buttons. So we need fewer people back at Radio Lancashire. Also, my other big job of the day is, Toby, do you want to go for a walk? <coughs> I think the thing about BBC Local Radio is because we live where our listeners live, we know where they're talking about. These are loads of shops and places in Penwith in which are closed. And I've got family in Lancaster and Lancaster's just the same and Blackpool and Burnley and Blackpool and Chorley and Fleetwood and Lytham, all everywhere, all these places are shut. In the morning, we hear from people who were worried. We hear from people who were worried about their families and worried about the future and worried about work. And in the morning to give them information and tell them what's going on. And at times, particularly for those people who are isolated, who are many by themselves, and we are the only familiar voice that they hear all day, to be able just to bring them comfort and companionship, and at times, really daft, silly stuff. It's a privilege to be on. It is a strange time. Things are very, very different. But feeling part of something and feeling connected has never been more important than ever. And if we can do that in some way during the breakfast show, I think that's quite a special thing. <laughs> 